2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Quack. Hello, Henny. Hi, Luke. I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am play... Oh, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. Oh, well played. Oh, a 12-footer. Love to make a few of these today. This is their look at birdie. Okay, steady now. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. She's currently tied for 14th. And now let's catch up with John McCarthy for an on-course report. What can we expect from Echo Park Golf Club this week, John? Well, Luke, uh, one thing I can say about this after walking the course this morning, it's a long one. So distance off the tee, especially important here at Echo Park. Course starts off along uh, the big lake. There are a few holes that hug the edge of this lake, not unlike uh, a Bay Hill, but here you get hit with it right off the start. And when you get away from the water, you get hit with the sand on the sixth. There is a thin corridor of fairway that leads to the green that weaves its way through. I think there's five, six bunkers leading up to and surrounding the sixth green. And from there on out, the players are going to be on the watch for the sand because it's sneaky and it's hard to avoid in certain situations. It's going to be an exciting time here, I think, this week at Echo Park. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Wow, that almost went in the hole. This one's for birdie. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. This has a real chance. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Time to see what this par four has in store. Look, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. What does she have in front of her here, Henny? Now the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. to have opted for the eight iron this one's going to the right just a little off with the accuracy there unable to find the green yeah wind took that one offline in a hurry
And here we are with their four. Oh, so close. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that puddle drop. Well done. Tony Finau is currently on top of the leaderboard here. Here we are at Echo Park Golf Club, the fourth hole, and it's a big brute of a par four. Off the tee, your eyes look down the left-hand side and see two massive bunkers and obviously the water. So anything right of that is just fine. If you find the fairway, second shot is downhill just a little bit to a long, narrow green that has got bunkers down the right-hand side. Distance control with that second shot is absolutely imperative if they want to have a good look at birdie. Golf became a power game, and there's few players out on tour that have more prodigious power than Tony Finau. If he really wants to go full tilt, Rich, it feels like everyone's playing for second. He is a dynamic player that has the ability to make birdies in bunches. The ball striking, I think, is always going to be brilliant. Watching him when he was on the Corn Ferry Tour, graduated to the PGA Tour, and just keep watching the steady progression. Each and every week, he just seems to get a little bit better. And the confidence level is over the moon with this kid. And to bundle it all up, Luke, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. You want to root for a Tony Finau. He is such a likable, lovable guy, I believe, that you can't help but root for him. And the wins that he didn't get are just heartbreaking, and we felt the pain alongside with him. I love watching this guy play. I root for him every single week. Ooh, that almost went down. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. to have chosen the seven iron oh, come on sit she's managed to find the grid on this approach what are we looking at for this putt Henny has to put this one downhill Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this one is for her par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Oh, well played. Well, when your rival plays golf every single second of the day, and eats birdies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is what you get. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. And that's the line, the sand. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. This putt for a spot in the top five.
Ouch, that hurts. Just a four-footer remaining. This is what they have left for a part. Wow, that's classy. Good side from there. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Our leader is Colin Morikawa as we head to the next. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, Rich, it's become a bit of a new age thing on tour. Uh, a couple of rivalries that heat up on social media. We've seen a number of other players that call each other out. Uh, what have you made of this social media age? Well, you better have thick skin if you're going to get into the social media arena. Thankfully, they didn't have it when I was out there on tour because I don't know if I could handle it. I certainly uh, couldn't be trusted with it back then. But I think if you're going to go into that arena, you have to treat social media like it's just something that it's fun to do. If you, if you do go down that rabbit hole in social media, you better be prepared for the consequences. Getting ready to play their third. Just three strokes back. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And this putt to be even with Tony Finau. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for birdie. Take some pride in that one. And with that, she'll move to a couple under par. Always a tough shot to get out of. Yeah, this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Colin Morikawa doing what he does best. He's leading this tournament as we head to the next hole. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. <laughs> Opting for the four iron here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, she knew that wasn't going to be super tight, but she'll take it nevertheless, especially with a couple of putts from there. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, my. How about that for a par? Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Thinking this putt will help them pull in front of Tony Finau. Let's see if this will add some heat to the rivalry. Ooh, right by the hole. Five feet coming up to the cup. Good looking putt for the par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. A long par four this hole. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. From around 220 yards. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Yeah, the wind's really starting to blow, but that didn't phase them. Lining up the birdie putt here. Ooh. Just three feet to the cup. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Well, Luke, this rivalry we've been watching has been fun. This player's behind their rival as we make the turn, and it'll be fun to see how this matchup shakes out.
well struck. Second shot here at the 10th. Always like it when they take the big dog and let it rip from the middle of the fairway. Not her best shot, that's for sure. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. This is perfect. They can make great contact. You couldn't ask for a better sand lie here. on the green now but a bit of work left to do here and this putt to move them into a tie for second these are on rails looking good nice one fourth birdie of the day and also moves her into the top five for the tournament as we look at the leaderboard this player sits in second place behind Colin Morikawa and after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Ah, great shot. What's she facing with this shot, Henny? By my pacing, she looks to have just over 170. Opting for the six iron. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently in second place, hoping to overtake the leader. This would be a great up and down from this spot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And back to the play, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Didn't that look good for a long time? I hope she makes this one, because it's for par. Hey, that's a chance. Colin Morikawa currently leading the event as we head to the next hole. On the tee of a par three. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Going with the 9-9, I think. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order. But after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. And that will put them ahead of their rival. A great performance on this hole. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. Well, the 13th hole here at Echo Park Golf Club uh, is not as kind. A big hole at 5.04 from the tips. Well, thankfully, it's slightly downhill off the tee. But, yes, avoid those bunkers down the right-hand side. And, of course, that meandering brook that is a feature of this golf course. Big hitters can actually take it over everything down their right-hand side. But that's for the brave few. Second shot downhill slightly to a massive green. Just some big bunkers on the left-hand side, but plenty of bailout room over to the right. Going with the five wood.
Oh, stop it. What a shot. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Sitting at three under par. Currently tied for fourth place. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. This putt coming up is for birdie. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. I like the look of this. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, she'll move to five under par. Our current leader is up by three shots. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Not a bad play, that one. Good chance to move to six under par here. She's got a great look at birdie here. It's on a great line. Yeah. Wonderful shot. And that will take her to six under. And as we update the scoreboard, this player is in second behind Colin Morikawa. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. A few players in the history of the game have had a bigger impact so early in their career than Colin Morikara, Rich. Uh, some comparisons go as close to Tiger Woods. As they should be currently right now with what he has done in the game so far in his young career. He's come out each and every week and put pressure on every single player because of his ball striking and because they know that there's no weaknesses in his game other than sometimes the putter, but when you hit it as good as he does, you're bound to make a putt now and again. And each and every week when he shows up, players on the driving range are looking at him going, okay, he's here, I gotta have my A game. Certainly feels like sky's the limit for Colin Morikawa. Two major championships under his belt right now, surely more in his future. Putting for birdie. What a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And top spot on the leaderboard she goes. Currently seven under for the event. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Good birdie on the last. What's in store now? Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Yes! And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. A birdie putt awaits. Oh, 
Oh, what a super shot. And that will take her to eight under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Nicely done. Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. Oh, no better feeling than to finish the round off with a bunch of birdies. Let's see if they can keep up for the next couple of holes. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. And I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. And that's for birdie. Well hold. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Oh, really leaned on that tee shot. That went forever. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by two. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Oh, what a shot by our leader. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Everything on the line with this putt for her. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, let's see if they can compose themselves and knock this one in to claim the title. Well, there you have it. What a wonderful victory, Rich. Absolutely. I, it's hard to believe that this player already got four victories on the season. Top of the game right now. It's impressive. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.